green flag in Bristol. Bumper, clear, clear. Blaney got clear. Blaney is clear, one behind. Now Joey's moved up and got clear behind him. Two ahead. Combining minds, combining the notes. That's what you heard Kyle Busch say in our pre-race interview right now. He's running in the middle of the racetrack. If you go back to last August when they ran the night race here, conditions are very similar. Remember, we're a month later than we normally are. And there's a caution on the racetrack. Caution is out for Ryan Newman. Not seeing any damage yet. He was running 22nd. We know that it didn't work out too well for Eric down the roll, and now they've got some heat in the tires. Let's see how it works out for Blaney. Still even. Still there. They're about half clear, clear. Half back 10 in one. 33 lead lap cars. Matt DiBenedetto, who did not pit, is your race leader. Yeah, more than 20 green flag laps on the tires of Matt DiBenedetto. Here's a two car Brad Keselowski with those fresh four tires working the bottom. Keselowski back to the lead all double wide behind him. The lead tightening up here as Blaney sees Chase Elliott closing in his mirror. Matt. My two concerns for the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Number one the car is swung. that on the stop but his biggest concern the temperatures are really rising they're looking to see what debris he may have on the grill Hamlin in ninth I mean, nothing, battle for the lead here yeah nothing visible on the, the nose and the grill of that 11 car but we see a lead change where Blaney just got to the quarter panel the two of Brad Keselowski there's a battle for that lead here comes Chase Elliott to the inside Best friends off the track battling on the track. Blaney gives him plenty of room and gets the drive off the corner. Yeah, nothing new. We saw these guys battle last week in Charlotte. Now Blaney sees that top groove. Chase Illy got a big run on the top groove to get this inside move or, or at least get side by side. Now the top groove coming in. Chase Elliott's going to get up in front of Blaney and now the crossover. Now Elliott secures the lead. Stenhouse working to Benedetto for seventh right now. Hamlin would get the final stage point. He is the 10th place car looking for more. As Chase Elliott comes around. Ryan Newman just ahead is the last car on the lead lap and that's how we will complete the stage. For eighth Hamlin Stenhouse ninth Johnson 10th as the stage ends. Here we go. Still there, he's being pushed inside of you. Still there, Chase, he's released. Still there. Still there. Ten half off you, the ten did get clear in your mirror. Still there, George. Still there, bumper on the line, bumper on the line, bumper on the line, by quarter. Still there, bumper, clear, 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 clear. Three quarter ahead. Side by side behind, the one ahead, both lanes. Is Keslowski's really using that top lane. He talked about how good his car is up top. Oh, Blaney might jump to, yeah, jumped over that, the edge of that grip level there. Trouble on Bailey Curry, who's tagged the wall. He's going to make it back to pit road without incident, and we stay green. At Bristol, Tennessee, Ryan Blaney has crashed. Wow, heavy damage to the front of that. Penske Ford nose ripped off of it. Running second to teammate Brad Keselowski at lap 200, and Ty Dillon got into it on the tail end. High hopes for Blaney coming in here. He has run at the front all day. Here's what happened. Battling with his teammate Brad Keselowski for the lead. Goes to that high line, or he just jumps over the edge. That's what I talked about. You know, there's great speed and grip up there. And then unfortunately, I believe the 13, here comes Ty Dillon. Oh. Yeah, just had so much momentum coming off of turn two, tried to avoid him. So you see the car jumps out, gets loose, basically jumped the cushion as we call it. And it's, it's so slick up top there. Blaney does a good job not hitting anything. But well, it really looked like the 13, Ty Dillon thought he was gonna uh, slide to the bottom. He was gonna go by him on the outside. Riding with Kevin Harvick. Front 80, front 80, easy, easy. 
but low, 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 low. Around turn four, pace cars in, and they'll head for the Geico restart zone. Chase Elliott, big jump. Harvick comes with him. Not as in he jumped the restart. <laughs> he got a good jump on Brad He Keselowski. did what he was supposed to do. Exactly. I, I, I Thank got you. you, Mike. All right. <laughs> she got to run around the bottom for a little spinner. Oh. Back straightaway, single car. And it puts us under caution, Joey Gase. Chase Elliott outside of Brad Keselowski. Caution back straight away. Bailey Curry has stalled. The five drivers up front are the winners of the last five races as they approach the Geico restart zone. And we're back under green. Got close there between Kevin Harvick and Joe Logano. Keselowski thought about going to the inside of the four, but that door got shut quickly. And Keselowski had to lift. There was a big fight on now for fourth place. Nice There's run. that Jones boy down to the inside yeah, of William Byron in the 20, the yellow car. You know, we talk about the challenge that this track creates for drivers and the driver's talents. It's going to be a battle for the lead here. Joey Logano. Looking to get to the inside of Chase Elliott. He's there. Well, we've seen at times Joey Logano's car just, oh, he gets loose. Almost takes out Chase Elliott. They made contact. Keslowski trying Hamlin for four. Oh, oh wow. Stas, heavy damage. Big wreck. Tyler Reddick, Cole Custer. Oh, Ricky Stenhouse. Bowman. He is having a hero or zero count of week. See Clint Boyer in the 14 on the bottom, 47 of Stenhouse. Here comes Jimmy Johnson. Comes off a of turn two. And he just makes contact with that left rear of the 47. I don't know if Stenhouse had to check up a little bit when he caught the 42 of Kenseth there, but just look to me like maybe Jimmy misjudged getting into the in behind the 47 of Stenhouse. I think Kurt Busch may also have some damage from that one. We're going to listen to Tim Fidua, spotter for Kevin Harvick, as we go back to green. Clear. 24 is trying to come, though. Outside now. Clear, 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 clear. Right on you, though. Back out there. You're still clear. All the way up. Whatever you need. 24, come with a run. One back. All clear. You know, almost all these spotters have some sort of racing background that helps them be a really good spotter. Caution. Somebody out. got into the wall hard up between three and four, Jeff. Someone toward the back of the pack. And we'll see who here in a minute. Caution flag out for the ninth time at lap 239. See some right side damage here to Ryan Priest's number 37 Chevrolet. He, you know, he already had some right side damage to the rear quarter panel and rear bumper area from avoiding that wreck and some contact from Bubba Wallace earlier. The top two finished 1-2 on Thursday. Chase Elliott with lane choice takes the outside. Green flag. So Kevin Harvick taking advantage of that outside starting position. And Chase Elliott has swept the first two stages here. This restart. And here they come off turn four to the Geico restart zone. Ready. Jimmy Johnson loose Kevin off of three. turn four. Three wide going into one. The three is there. And gets him 
just a little bit there. And boy, Christopher, Christopher Bell, Bell, what a job hanging on he did in that 95. Yeah, as these tires wear, they're like a pencil eraser. What comes off them has to go somewhere, and it uh, clogs together and settles up toward the top of the racetrack. We call it up in the marbles. Ryan Newman, Chase Elliott. Now Chase has fresh tires. Newman's are 20 laps older, and we're under yellow. Chris Buescher tagged the wall again. Well, yeah, and then he cut made that his right way to front. pit road. Yeah, I mean, this is the problem. When you hit that wall, those flared fenders fold in, and and it's so we see them cut the tires down all the time. 226 laps to go. When they hit the stripe, we're back under green. Kyle Bud Busch Kyle wants Bush. the lead, and he's got it. First time he's led today. Austin Dillon slows coming off turn four and into the front straightaway. He's going to try to get to yep. pit road if he can. I don't know. That... No, he's. Misses caution is out. Pit entry, and that'll put us under caution for the 12th time. Kyle Busch chooses the inside for the restart on Denny Hamlin, Eric Almarola, Chase Elliott, row two, Christopher Bell, Jimmy Johnson, row three, Kevin Harvick, Martin Truex, row four, Kenseth and Jones, Logano and Boyer, here we go. 20 lead lap cars. Everybody on fresh tires. Welcome back to Bristol where Ryan Newman has brought out the caution. 145 laps to go. Watch for his number six sliding up off the corner. Very similar to what happened to Ryan Blaney earlier in this race. We're going to listen to Eddie DeHaan, Chase Elliott spotter. Yeah, behind Jimmy. All clear, all clear up. Yeah, but two and a half. Caution is out with 66 to go. Kevin Harvick and Eric Jones involved. And here come the leaders. Matt. Great run that final segment there, Mike. You saw Kyle Busch. He was starting to lose the nose a little bit. He said it was really loose on entry and even more so off, but he was also chattering that right front as well. Left side's going out. Let's see who's going to win the battle off the road between the, the 18 and 48. A little bit of trouble on the left. And Johnson ahead of Kyle Busch on the exit of the pit. So everybody stopped back through Austin Dillon in 15. And we bunch up for the restart with 61 to go. Elliott to the high side looking for the lead. He's got the big run off the corner. Looking to the inside now and draws even. Boy, he might, oh. oh, great Galding in the wall. Now the question is, was Chase Elliott ahead of Denny Hamlin at the last timing loop to get the leader? Or is he going to go back to second? There's a look at how they'll restart. And we're back to green with 37 to go. Chase Elliott with the battle from the outside of the 22 of Logano taking advantage of that outside lane. Boy, an issue for Truex further back, and you saw there Chase Elliott trying to get up in front of the 18 of Kyle Busch. Trouble down in the corner, up and in the wall. Martin Truex, Eric Almarola, and Michael McDowell. We saw Truex had an issue. I don't know if he had contact with somebody cut a tire he didn't get going on the restart then they went down to the next corner and then all this happened well let's get this restart in first green flag you're clear by half 18 there fairly you'll be taking to the corner here outside bumper still there you're clear 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 by half by half by half the clean you want in line. he's got to be careful because he's got chase elliott coming pretty fast on the high line all right, a couple of lappers on the inside. B.J. McLeod down and out of the way. Oh, Denny gets high. And Logano gets the lead. Elliott's going to get second. 
and maybe the Elijah lead. Moore, yes. Chase wow. sends it and takes the lead. And Danny Hamlin goes around. Goes into the wall with McLeod, and oh. Caution is out. Can you believe that? Our leader, Denny Hamlin, gets loose, gets up into the marbles. The next quarter, Joey Logano goes in there, and the same thing happens. So it'll be five laps to go at Bristol, and Chase Elliott brings him to green with a sizable margin over Logano and Keslowski. This is where it gets tricky for Chase Elliott. Which lane do you pick? Joey Logano's right on the bottom. Can Chase get the drive off the high side that Hamlin did? He did that time. Now what do you do? Now Chase is going to go the high line. As Logano goes to the bottom, he's going to get clear almost. They might make contact here. Almost, but not quite. Is Logano faster in the bottom than Chase is up top? Oh, yes, he is. He's going to get that lead. But can he keep it? Three to go. Wow, what a battle here. They touch. A little bump and run there from Chase Elliott. Close. They're up and in the wall. Here comes Keslowski wow. and Kyle Busch. Oh, my goodness. Boy, Chase just sent it in there and got loose, took them both out. Two to go. Keslowski, Boyer for second from nowhere. Johnson third, Kyle Busch fourth, wow. Eric Jones fifth. White flag, one to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank, only at Bristol. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Those tires working for Keslowski and those leaders. He's going to steal another one. Yeah, he is. Two Sundays in a row. Brad Keslowski wins Bristol. Can you believe it? Can't say I saw that one coming, Mike. Let's go to Vegas, Jeremy. <laughs> Hey Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.